Hello, it is the John Kaufman here today, and I have another video for you guys on this special, amazing July the 16th, Monday. First day of the week, but you know, it's the summer, so you still can't really complain. School hasn't started back up yet. Fall hasn't arrived, you know, all the work and stuff in the fall. But to get started, it is National Corn Fritters Day. There's three events today. This is one of the three. It is National Corn Fritters Day, and I have no absolute idea what that is. Corn fritters. I haven't heard of it. I mean, I like corn. <laughs> I mean, we can talk about corn, National Corn Day. I don't know when that day is, but it is National Corn Fritters Day, and I have just no idea. Maybe leave in the comments if you guys know what that is and tell me what it is. Maybe I can do some research after the video. I kind of like just to look at the events and talk about my video, and if I don't know it, I like to talk about how I don't know it in my video, and you guys can tell me what it is in the comments below. Below. Not really like in my seat or anything, but below the video. <laughs> so as you, as you can see, I'm not driving right now. I don't really want to drive right now, and I think it's a little safer if I don't drive. I'm just talking like in my car when, when it's in place. And I'm also contemplating like how I want to vlog and talk about this in any other place. It's kind of weird in my room, you know, with your parents hearing you or, you know, your siblings listening to you. It's kind of awkward. Something that I might have to go over, you know, just a little weird. <laughs> so to continue with the National Econor events, it is also... National Get Out of Their um, Doghouse Day. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Get Out of Your Doghouse Day. I don't know if that's supposed to symbolize like some sort of metaphor for something. I don't know. But yeah, Get Out of Your Doghouse. Maybe like if you own a lot of dogs and they're just constantly just keeping you from getting out of your into your life. Or maybe your dogs are your life. Maybe that's why it's National Doghouse Day. Get Out of Your Doghouse Day. I only have a dog and a cat, so... Get out of your dog and cat house day? I don't, I don't know. These events are weird. It's like they just make up these randomest, most bizarre events that they could just put in a calendar and call it a National Day event. I don't know. I'm using a source called National Day Condor Events. Literally, it's <laughs> going Google National Day Condor Events. It's what it pulls up the events. It's pretty neat, too. I get emails every day telling me what it is, and I make a vlog about it. And actually, about a couple months ago when I first started my channel... It came to my head, I could talk about this, and I thought it was a good idea to do this, and I thought it's fun, and people like to know about the events and celebrate them or talk about them with their family or friends, and so I thought I would share it in my YouTube and talk about motivation too also, of course. So after watching the soccer game and how France won, was in, I wasn't that surprised. I was expecting France to win, of course. But anyways, if you didn't know, the country of France... Paris, I think, is where they had the celebration with everyone coming along and going crazy. But two people died there with the celebration and like 300 people were arrested. It's like it was like a crazy like I guess some sort of riot that people just went crazy. I mean, I don't I guess I could see it happening in America. People go crazy, but I, I don't see how just 300 people could get arrested over some silly I mean that's silly I mean it's crazy win every four years in the National Cup but I'm just saying like how could people go that crazy where they get arrested and two people died like I don't even know how they died but I guess maybe I don't know if officers shot them down or what whatever happened it's just amazing to think how just people went that nuts to where they had to get arrested and people died yeah, I feel like I just shared this in the video because I was going on my Facebook and saw it. Someone shared a post on the news channel from France. But yeah, people get that crazy about sports. And I also think, too, that they can use, people think that they can use excuses like that to, uh, to commit crimes. I don't know. Maybe people get too up and, and about with, I don't know, with whatever just causes them to go crazy. I don't know. People have some sort of tick in their head that makes them want to think they can do anything they want or any excuse with anything like that. But I don't know. Whatever. So the last event on the National Day calendar today, it is National Personal Chef Day. So if you like to cook at home or you like to cook, you have your own little like YouTube channel or, or some sort of little business that you do personally, it is National Personal Chef Day. My grandma, she's a really good cook, and I guess I kind of could maybe get her a little piece of cake or something today, National Personal Chef Day for her. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do at home, today's a good day to celebrate if your mom or dad is a good chef or 
grandma and grandpa or if you know any friends or family that's good chefs maybe today's a good day to give them a little shout out or maybe just a little thank you or thank you car or something like that just thanking them how good they cook and how good their food is because you know that's what the national day calendar is for is, is to celebrate people and things and and uh, make them known right <laughs> that's what i think they're for anyways but yes i don't know how i went from talking to france from talking about chefs Weird combinations in my videos, and especially when I'm not driving, it's a little different because I'm more, I guess, in deeper thought. So, because I'm not just concentrating on driving while making a video, I'm just making the videos, so I'm more concentrating on the video. I kind of like doing this also. I guess I get more in depth with you guys and talk more things I've witnessed and thought about. <laughs> but yes, I just cannot believe that about France. This crazy. Leave your guys' opinions in the comments about that and what you know about it. Or if you didn't know about it. I did, I mean, just Im imagine, like, you winning a game in your hometown. And, like, everyone in your little hometown comes in and starts, like, destroying cars. And starts, like, pulling out guns and stuff like that and going crazy. I mean, that's basically what happened in France. And you just can't imagine, like, I don't know what, pe what goes to people's heads. Crying for excuses or excuses for crimes. I don't know. Whatever. But, yes. What better day is it than Monday... To get motivated. I mean, like, no one's motivated on Mondays, right? It's Monday. First day of the... Second day of the week. First day in, like... I guess in the Spanish calendar. I think I learned. Yeah. I think so. Maybe. <laughs> but yes, it is the second day of the week. Sunday, you know, I get to relax and Sunday go to church and everything. But Monday is actually the real, the real start of the week. And people get kind of discouraged and like, Oh my god, it's Monday. But you know, it's... You know, on days like this, it's the best to get motivated because you need to keep working and pushing on and doing what you need to do to be successful. And and a lot of that requires motivation. I mean, anything really. I mean, when you get up in the morning, you have to have motivation to do that. If you don't want to get up in the morning, then you're just going to fall asleep the rest of the day, right? Until you can physically not sleep anymore. I mean, for school, you got to be motivated to go to school, get up, learn. Know that you're getting an education for free. For work, you know that you're getting paid. You know you're working for your children, your your siblings, or whoever yourself. Working to get a new car or something, whatever. Just anything that motivates you to get up. And it's, and if you're not motivated for anything, maybe find something that you could be motivated about. Start a goal. Think of a goal, or maybe start something. Maybe start writing books. <laughs> I mean, I know people. I've seen people who literally had nothing going on in their lives, and they and they just can't think of anything or have no career and they just start writing books and start writing things that's on their mind and they make it into like a personal autobiography or something like that and they just create it and publish it and they can start getting paid for it and there's a lot of things you can do to start fresh somewhere and one thing that a lot of people don't realize and especially those who aren't motivated is being around their friends family and then a lack of that having a lack of that i mean really I mean, your friends and family are there to motivate you and be there for you and support you. And a lot of people don't have that in their lives. And it's very unfortunate. But it's, it's true with people who are not motivated. And people need that in their lives. And they have, have the support of friends and family. And it's hard. And I think about that sometimes and how this how people's lives and how even my life and how what do I do, what, what I would do without friends and family. And it, and it stinks. And it's, and it's very unfortunate for those who don't have friends and family. Because that's a big issue today is the support and the positive feedback that people need and i can get into a long discussion about a lot of things that's going on today that a lot of people don't see and i know there's a lot of bad things going on in this world right now but i feel like the news media and the, and social media and a lot of a lot of these sources are not covering the positive feedback and the positive things are going on because there is a lot and a lot of people are putting a lot of effort into trying to distribute goods and positive information around the world and things that are actually going on that's good and people are trying to make a difference and trying to do service projects for people and just trying to make a difference and i feel like a lot of that is not getting focused on it's just mostly the crimes and all the negativity and i feel like for a lot of people being negative about things does not really help them and positivity and it's even psychologically proven that being positive towards someone improves their their skills and improves their way of being motivated and pushing on and doing something that's great you know if we're always focusing on crimes and things that deaths of people, murder, I mean, that's not motivating. That's not motivating at all. And I feel like people are just 
waking up in the morning, watching the news, seeing how terrible this world is. I mean, no one has motivation or, or even hope for their countries or, or anything really. And I feel like we need to be more focused on the positivity and, so, and the positive sides of things in order, you know, to help people stay motivated and make a change in people's lives. You know, it's not always about your life either. It's about doing other things for others, doing things for others and having service and being there when it's most needed because not everyone can do things themselves. Personal Chef Day. Celebrate those personal chefs that keep your belly full at home or if you don't really have a personal chef or if your own self is your personal chef, you know, thank yourself or maybe find, you know, like a personal chef or maybe like like a personal trainer, but a personal chef that makes you food in the morning. It's kind of ridiculous, but you know, whatever. Instead of just making ramen noodle soup, maybe find yourself someone that can make you good food. <laughs> I'm joking. But yes, I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. It's kind of late Monday, but you know, you could still make it good. If you're on your way home from work or whatever. But yes, I will see you in my next vlog when I make it up. <laughs> just have a great day and peace out.